Hello guys, today we explain the movie called Thirst The movie starts with a scene of a hospital, a father named Sang Hyun comes there, it was his responsibility to check patients with serious conditions, we are shown a miserable patient, he was telling the father and the nurse, the story of his life, he requests father to play flute for him, but his father comes with a flute, that patient dies of pain, later, the father goes to a charter house, tests are conducted there for the treatment of a savage virus, the father also wanted to become a part of these experiments, this was the purpose behind his arrival here, father was a kind-hearted man and sympathized with the people, therefore, he liked to help deserving people, a senior there warns father that this experiment is risky for your life, but without caring about his life, he takes part in it, in this experiment, that dangerous virus is injected into father's body, for its treatment, the blood of the recovered patient is injected into his body, but unluckily, this experiment fails, father is kept in the charter house for one month, after some days, symptoms of that virus start to appear on his body, he starts playing that flute again, suddenly, his mouth starts bleeding, because of which, that flute breaks, then all the doctors transfer blood into father's body, after it, father recovers speedily, strangely, he was one of the hundred who recovered, after this incident, people started considering him lucky and genius, his dignity became greater than ever, father sang high and meets his senior father who was blind, then father goes to a child's birthday and makes this child happy by doing celebrations, because this child had brain cancer, suddenly there comes a nervous lady, she asks father to help her by going with her because his son was so sick, going there, father acknowledges that the man was none other than this childhood friend, his name was Kang Wu, his wife named Taeju was also there, Kang Wu's mother invites father on dinner, there, we notice that father is taking interest in Kang Wu's wife, Taeju, Kang Wu was much recovered and had come home now, three people come to meet Kang. Wu there, it included a couple and a police officer, they meet father there as well, they were playing a dice game, there we see that Kang Wu misbehaves with his wife Taeju in front of all, due to this, Taeju gets hurt, then we see that father has come home but he was having bad feelings, here we see that the blood cells of the father are converting, he becomes unconscious and the next morning, he wakes up as a vampire, here the question arises that how did he become a vampire? In fact, that fail experiment had a devastating effect on him, the blood which was transferred into his body left a bad effect on him, as a result, he became a vampire, then father goes to check a patient, seeing the flowing blood, his inner vampire activates, at first, he controlled himself, but gradually he started losing his control, he was becoming edgy to fulfill his need, here we realize that those symptoms and marks will disappear only when he drinks someone's blood, if he didn't get blood, those marks will appear again, as the father was a vampire now so he had many more powers than before, he jumped off the building but still, he didn't get hurt, Taeju had a habit of sleepwalking, she comes to a street where father was present, then we see father storing the blood to quench his thirst, so that he won't be accused of murder, father goes to Kang Wu's house and Taeju and father fall in love there. Taeju seeks permission from her mother-in-law to stay in the hospital for a night, father and Taeju meet there, they loved each other a lot so they were unable to control their emotions, father confesses to Taeju that he loves her so, I won't hide anything from you, he claims that he is a vampire, Taeju gets scared and runs away, father relaxes her and says that we'll both go far away from here, we'll happily spend their lives there, we live a happy life there, Taeju says that I can give you a better idea than this, the idea is that you kill my husband, then they will live independently, but father doesn't show any response, father jumps from building to building holding Taeju, Taeju enjoys it a lot, father goes to his senior father, again, father says that I am blind so can you give me your vampire blood so that I can see with my eyes last time, then father sang hi and replies that I am not father anymore so I can't give you my blood, he doesn't give him blood, father notices a mark on Taeju's neck, he asks if Kang Wu did it? She says, yes, it makes him so angry, Taeju, father and Kang Wu go to a river, here, father kills Kang Wu by drowning him in water to get revenge, Taeju gets injured as well, father throws Taeju into the river and runs himself, he does this so that police will take it as an accident, not a murder, then father comes to the charter house and there he meets his senior father again, there he requests him again to give him his vampire blood, so that I see this world too, he says that all right, I will give you my vampire blood, but in return, you'll have to pray for me, senior father does the same and prays for him, at the same time, those symptoms start appearing on father Sanghyun's body, his inner vampire activates again, he kills s equals the senior father to fulfill his need, police were investigating about Kang Wu's death, Kang Wu's mother became paralyzed, she was suspicious of the father that he killed her son, Taeju and father were together when Kang Wu's soul comes to scare them, intoxicated, she spills out that her husband has not touched her to this day instead, she lied about the behavior of her husband, hearing it, father feels sad that he killed an innocent man, 
father gets angry with Teju, Teju becomes really embarrassed and she asks father to kill her, father does the same by compressing her throat and kills her, later, he drinks blood from her body, father was feeling so lonely, he decides that he'll make Teju, a vampire as well, thinking this, he lets her drink his vampire blood, then Teju opens her eyes and she is a vampire now, Kangwoo's mother was noticing everything, Teju starts killing everyone as she has become a vampire now, she enjoys a lot by drinking human blood, father doesn't like that she's killing everyone, because he only killed people when his needs got out of his control, father and Teju jumps from building to building and fights with each other, then those three friends come to Kangwoo's house again, with the help of the dice, Kangwoo's mother was trying to reveal something, she gives them a gesture that his son is killed by father and Teju, Teju was killing one of Kong, Wu's friends, father tries to save him but all in vain, father kills that lady himself, then father, Teju and Kangwoo's mother decide to escape and run away by a car, then they reach a deserted place and no one was there except them, that place was open and if the sun shines on them, they will not be able to survive, Teju understood that vampires die in the sunlight, therefore, father brought them here for this purpose, Teju tries to hide father and herself in the car trunk, but father breaks it, they understood that their survival is impossible now, they could see their death in front of them and they were waiting for it, the sun shines on them and they start burning, slowly, they burn and turn into ashes, Kangwoo's mother was watching them turning into ashes, she was happy to see them being killed and destroyed, this movie ends with the end of their story.